Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. I say sometimes BAM. First of all, guys, my apologies. I haven't been there in the last two days. No videos the last two days. That's not because I don't like the market. That's because I'm very busy with opening the bar and we are moving to a new house here in Lagos. And um, more about that at the end of the video. First, let's quickly jump into the charts to see what is happening to Bitcoin. Are we holding 20k or are we falling down below it again? Let's see what the charts are telling us. Let's quickly jump over there. Yeah. Um, here, <clears throat> this is the first chart, guys. Like you can see, this is the four hour chart. Um, on the four hour chart, we see these red and these green flags. These are the BAM BAM indicator. If you want more information, go to the bitcoinfamily.com. It's very windy today. That's why I'm not walking the beach, by the way. So um, a short video here behind my laptop. I have an amazing view. You see my ugly face. Okay, that's how it is today. Um, <laughs> now, um, these flags, green and red and green and red, are telling when to buy and when to sell on the BAM BAM indicator. Selling, buying, selling, buying, selling. I should be buying now again. This is the Bollinger Band, the blue one on the back. So um, if we buy over here and we close a candle above that yellow stepping line, that would be the confirmation. So you see the yellow stepping line coming down. This candle needs to close above it. Then we have the flag. We have the candle closing above it. Then we should have green instead of the beach over here. Now we have the yellow beach and the sea. It should be a green hill. And we should have this blue line crossing that white line. When all these confirmations are right, that would be a long or a buy signal in the BAM BAM indicator. That would mean that we would go probably from that line uh, to this midline here, which is 20,500. And if we break that, we could even go to the top of 20,400. These would be the take profits levels when you follow the BAM. Now, very nice. Now, um, there is a lot of charts that I can show you guys, but um, for me at the moment, it's zooming out. And I'm going to zoom out now by showing you some other really cool charts. So let's quickly jump into over these charts. Yes, <clears throat> because we can uh, talk a lot about the price, um, you know, and the weekly and the 200 MA and the 300 MA. I've done that in the last couple of videos, so you know what my opinion is about the 200 weekly moving average. And the 300, uh, we are at the 300, I think, at 16,700. Um, if we break, the, um, if, if, if we can't break the 200 to the upside, then we probably will fall down to that level. But more important stuff, in my opinion, is that um, between 17,800 and 21,300, the Bitcoin price, 1.43 million Bitcoin changed hands. So a lot of people are selling, but also a lot of people are buying. And I'm going to show you later again who is buying. <coughs> so um, that's a very interesting chart, in my opinion. And if you go down to this chart over here, uh, I need to zoom in a little bit, I think, in this one here. Um, you can see something really cool because um, the question for you now is, is it the moment to buy? And in my opinion, yes, it is a moment to buy. And yes, we could go lower a little bit, but still, it is a perfect moment to buy. And in this chart, you see a, a, a few lines that are very important. You have this one, the MVRV. You have the realized cap line, you have the market cap, you have the Z-score. So the Z-score is the red line. Every time when we hit those green boxes and you look to the top here, you see, you can see that that would have been an amazing moment to buy Bitcoin. You know, even here, this short pull and here, the COVID crash. And now here, these are amazing moments to buy Bitcoin. And if we then look at the green line, uh, the yellow line, sorry, the realized cap, every time when Bitcoin moves down below the yellow line, it is the buying opportunity because after that, the price went up. When we come down below that line, it's a buying opportunity. When we come down below that line, it's a buying opportunity. When we come down below that line, it's a buying opportunity. When we come down below that line, it's not that the, the record is not stuck, it's my voice, but when we come down below it, it is a buying opportunity and we are talking here about the market cap of bitcoin not the bitcoin price so we can see at the left here that this higher numbers than the bitcoin price that's because we're talking about market cap so very interesting chart i believe we are seeing an amazing buying 
opportunity. I believe this line can go a little bit more down, but then it will bounce again up and will go back to these levels of 6. Uh, not tomorrow, but in the next couple of uh, months. Uh, maybe even it will take one or two years. I don't care, but this is the moment I need to buy because it will be a moment I make the most profit out of those bought buying opportunities. Now, <coughs> then we have another chart that is this one. Um, is my face uh, here? My face is going to be next chart BTC. Yes, I have been next chart BTC. Now, here you can see the Bitcoin days per price range, you know, and so you can see that between, for example, one and ten dollar we spent 411 days and then between ten dollar and one hundred we spent 380 days you see like this better then between one hundred and thousand dollar we spent 1300 days and, and of, to, of those 1300 days we spent 800 days on the higher half of that uh, uh, cycle and 400 days on the lower half of the cycle now here between thousand and ten thousand we spent 1100 days and of which um, you can see if I do it like this, of which 900 days were in the higher cycle and 119 days on the lower part of that uh, band. And then between 10 and 100k, we spend at the moment 860 days, of which 370 days on the lower part and 400 days in the higher part. So, very interesting chart. I would love to see another 300 days uh, in this cycle, if we go look to those, or even maybe 600 days if we compare it to this one over there. So, and those 300 or 600 days, I would love 76% to be in the higher scale and only 33% in the lower scale. What does that now mean? 76% is always on the higher end of these uh, bands, tweet between 10 and 100k, 33% is in the lower. Every time when we come in that lower region, you should be buying. You can read this chart in many different ways. If you would have bought in these blue areas, you would have profit in the red areas. If you would have bought in the blue area, you would, uh, blue areas, you would have profit in the red areas. If you would have bought in the blue areas, blue, you will be profit in the red area. Very interesting chart. Now, OD, even more charts. Yes, I'm going to bomb you with charts today because I didn't do charts for a long time. This is the year chart. This is the only thing I've been talking about like already for years. I showed it to you. I always told you three greens, run red three greens one red three greens of which we expected that green to be larger above 100k because every time the third green candle was the largest one but this time the third green candle was not the largest one so but we are seeing a red here again just like every time the fourth candle was a red one now is this candle going to be a large one like these two or isn't it because the green wasn't large? That's now the question. Uh, pause the video to see all the results that you could have made here in the bottom. At the moment, we are at a minus 56%. But if you compare it with all the plus percentages there to the left, you can see that the average is still way above that minus percentage. You know, we are at the plus with an average of 100% a year or even more, I think. <clears throat> cool charts? Yes, very cool charts, Diddy. Oh, you're bombing us with really beautiful charts. Now, who's buying these Bitcoins? <clears throat> At the moment, the shrimps are buying. And the Bitcoin shrimps, that is the people with less than one Bitcoin. That's why I tweeted yesterday, I think there will be a lot of new wall coiners. There's a lot of people buying Bitcoin. So a lot of people are cha buying cheap into Bitcoin. That's what we can see here. This, this, oh, sorry. That is all we can see here in this uh, orange line. These are the shrimps with less than one Bitcoin. They are buying Bitcoin. You can see this. The price is the gray line is going down, but they are buying. And the balance is increasing with 36,000 Bitcoins per month, which is about 0.2% of the supply. So yes, the normal people, they want to accumulate Bitcoin. <clears throat> and they are accumulating in a very rapid pace. Then, of course, we have these. We have the Bitcoin whales. Are the Bitcoin whales buying? Good question. Let's put my face again in the right place. The the whales are also buy the whales are also buying. These are the people with more than one thousand bitcoins. One thousand bitcoins. Look here. 
that is increasing yes we can see a small pullback now over there in the circle but still we have seen pullbacks there but on average that line is increasing so we can see this pattern here on the bottom um, the blue and the red lines every time we see that same pattern same pattern and we are now in the blue so we are they are increasing at the moment it's very very interesting <coughs> and they are increasing with 140,000 bitcoins per month so we have the shrimps less than one bitcoin buying so we have the whales more than 1000 bitcoins buying so who is selling those bitcoins at the moment that is the miners guys the miners they are selling bitcoins and you can see this here they have been selling already since this uh, level over there they have been selling <clears throat> and lately they have been selling a lot because they need to break even they have monthly fixed cost of electricity of employees of all the buildings everything and they need to have money to pay that so they need to sell bitcoin at the moment as bitcoin is not at a perfect level but they should they need to sell so we can uh, see that uh, the miners are now spending three to four k bitcoins a month so they are selling three thousand to four thousand bitcoins a month that's not enough for the whales and and for the uh, shrimps to buy so also normal people are selling of course but the miner balance is declining from 74,000 bitcoins to now 60 5,000 bitcoins and yes it has been way lower these levels so let's see how that will develop interesting charts do i have any more charts uh, yeah i just found one on twitter uh, about patterns you know that patterns always can repeat now if you look at this chart it's just interesting to see uh, that there are still a lot of bullish people as well in the, in the market i'm 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 kind of bearish but also bullish because um, these are the levels i'm i'm buying i'm accumulating these levels because you know i know bitcoin is going to go up after this um, and that's what you see uh, kind of in this chart i don't see i'm not saying it's a perfect chart but you can see this pattern where we go down in uh, 50 two bars it's like 264 days and then we reach that bottom over here so we have the red line we come above the red line and then we reach the bottom and after the bottom the price always reverse to the top again now we can see the same here 57 bars at the moment that's 399 days um, down below we are reaching that bottom after we flipped so we should go up and then the price could reverse and bounce and that's the bounce i would love to see to 27 28 thousand guys but who knows who knows at the moment it's a strange market at the moment it's a strange world but these were amazing charts bam i think they were amazing if you think they were amazing please give the video a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment what do you think about these charts and i would have made another video a little bit short longer but it's already 30 minutes because i'm opening the bitcoin bar and we are doing lightning network transactions on a daily basis people are being with bitcoin on the beach on one of the most popular tourist beaches in in, in portugal and europe um, bitcoin is being accepted the second thing in my life was really busy at the moment is we are moving house because we're living one hour further you know the house with the goats and the pool um, but because the bar is here i want to be close to the bar and the kids want to change as well because they need to be closer to a center so they can do shopping and and <clears throat> drinking so that's why we are moving today we will be moving that's why we have been all videos no videos on, on, on online yet so uh, uh, hopefully you understand me thank you for um, watching this one and hopefully see you tomorrow again in a new cool video oh tomorrow is Friday I don't even know uh, I think on Friday I'm doing something together with Miss Team Crypto so uh, pay attention tomorrow maybe something as well with Miss Team Crypto thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again guys Bam!